Hey guys, Multiclass Gamer here, and welcome to my not so new Let's Play. This is Let's Play number 43, and so it is Barnyard for the Wii. Yeah, last time we did this on the GameCube back in 2011, and we're playing a game again here in 2019 on the Wii. This revisit is in memory of my most popular Let's Play of all time, and also part of celebrating my upcoming 10 year anniversary. So I figured revisit a game you guys want me to. And yes, game, you made it quite clear. I need the nunchuck in order to play this. We get it, okay? Uh, oh, I gotta press the button, I guess. So this game was uh, published by THQ, not, su not surprising at all since it's a Nickelodeon game, but more importantly, it was developed by Blue Tongue Entertainment, which actually went defunct in August 2011. And at the time, I was actually doing the original Let's Play this game. And Otis just died before we reached the cutscene. We're in for a great game. Ah, oh, it's great to be back at the barnyard. Ha, <laughs> see what I did there? Okay, so, oh, that's interesting. Uh, apparently, menu is, uh, okay, so you have to point at the, you have to point at the menu selection you want. It doesn't have a cursor. Interesting, okay. Alright, well, let's select a new game, shall we? Okay. Oh, we gotta do that for the file screen, too. Okay. Let's get on in there. Alright, so, here we go. Chapter 1, Welcome to the Barnyard. I remember the day the newcomer arrived in the barnyard. That mad cow Otis was up on the roof with his friends. Does he have mad cow disease? Do you have a will, Peck? I mean, did you ever think of donating your body to, uh, science? Uh, just be gentle with me, Otis. It's my first <laughs> that time. That line. That's what she said. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, seriously, how is the farmer not see Otis right here? Dude, you're a cow. I'm a mouse. Do the math. Pig, we got a code red. Uh oh. And that was when the newcomer showed up. And this time, the newcomer was a girl. Good looking sort of cow. And we're gonna be. Uh, for the sake of uh, the fact that this is uh, this is Aaron's long lost cousin, we're gonna go beat Master again. Now, what are we gonna call you? You can call me Aaron, because Aaron is also a girl's name. Just say so you no. Know. Now let me show you a. Ah. Of course, you must be starving. Wait right there. Hey, Peck, you better fasten your seat. Ah! Seat belt. There you go. I'll be back later. 
Yeah, Peck's dead. No big Otis, deal. Father to son talk. Now. Can you keep it quiet back there, woman? I'm watching the TV. Okay, one positive I do have about this so far is I love the frame rate and I love the graphical improvement over the previous version, at least the GameCube version. I don't know if the PC or PS2 Hello versions there. look really good or not, but I digress. So, okay, interesting. So you control the camera by pointing at the screen, and, and this time you actually have a cursor to kind of tell you, but the Hello problem there. is that I don't have the best setup with my motion sensor bars, you can probably tell. But anyways, we're going to talk to Miles first. Hello there, newcomer. My name is Miles. Wow, deja vu. Hey there, Miles. I'm Aaron. The farmers prepared this sleeping area for you. Don't forget to rest, because if you stay up all night, you'll lose stamina. You can also save your game here. When you're an old mule like me, you forget what you're doing sometimes. Saving often is a good idea. Okay, we will do. You should go and see Ben. He's finished yelling at Otis. Use control stick on the nunchuck to walk and point with the Wii remote to look around. Hold Z to run. Swing the nunchuck up to jump, or you can press the C button. Uh, those are the same jumping controls as certain other game that I... I harped on a lot, Ninja Bread Man. <laughs> on my way. So, this game uh, has a day and night system. So, every now and then... Uh, I forgot how, how long... Like, how you convert the time from this game to real life time. So, I'll, be, I'll tell you guys in the next episode. And also the music is different too, like it doesn't have the same song I guess at first. I, I know the song is in the GameCube version, but you don't hear it that often. It's, it's also a daytime barnyard song, but anyways, we now have three objectives ahead of us here. Now, throughout this game, you'll have exclamation points above characters. Those characters want to talk to you. In total, there are 75 objectives in the entire game. So, and... More than half of those are minigames, because this is technically a party game. But anyways, our first one here is Ben. Welcome to the barnyard. The name's Ben. Hi Ben, I'm Aaron. Nice farm you got here. Thanks, you should go ahead and meet the other animals. we Will do, Ben. If you see an exclamation point above someone's head, press A to talk to them. Yeah, I kind of already just addressed this, but oh well. I want to tell you something or ask you a favor or play a game. So yeah, like I said, there's a total of, uh, uh, let's, yeah, let me break this down for you. There are 37 minigames, uh, 16 fetch quests, 14 missions, and 8, uh, discussions. Like, basically, we've already had two of them now with Ben and Miles. If you can't see anyone with an exclamation mark, press minus and look at your map. Go ahead and have fun. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the map, shall we? So, this is the game map, except for the junkyard off to the far left, but you can kind of see the padlock as a, as a gate. So, there are several locations throughout the game, and there are also locked gates that prevent you from gaining access to areas you don't have yet. Um, there are eight keys we'll be getting along the way throughout the game, uh, basically by completing certain missions, and those will allow us to access new areas. Now, you're going to be unlocking new areas in chapters one through three, and then the last, uh, and then some in chapter six, and also the last one at the end of the game. Spoiler alert. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Now, if we press a... Uh, wait, no, not mice. It's a... Uh, is it one? Yeah, it's one. You can go into your inventory. This is your backpack. You have a cell phone. The cell phone will allow us to... It tells us... Uh, it allows the characters to... Wait, can you... Oh, you can jump. Well, you have the inventory, but not move. Okay. So, yeah, you have a cell phone, that, which tells you uh, you get messages from characters, and those are your exclamation marks you have to go to. So we're going to go to Pig next, but we also have uh, other stuff, like we have our knapsack, which we can carry food items in. Flower pack, which we can carry flowers in. We'll get into that later. Notebook, where we can carry notes. Uh, we'll get into that later as well. It's basically, yeah, and there's our map, too. So that's our backpack so far. All right, now let's talk to Pig, our second objective, or third, actually, overall. I'm Pig. Just Pig. <laughs> That's me. Hey Pig, I'm Aaron. You know, when a new animal comes to the barnyard, I like to cook up an apple pie. But I've got a problem. What kind of problem? A raccoon problem. Those furry bandits have torn up my cookbook and hidden all the pages. Bet you RJ had something to do with this. No way! The missing pages have been hidden under rocks marked with an X. 
If you can find the apple pie recipe, I can make one for us to share. You're on. Well, at least the raccoons were nice enough to mark the spots that they hit the pages from. It kind of uh, defeats the purpose of hiding them. <laughs> but then again, as we'll find, uh, raccoons are not exactly the most intelligent creatures in the game. So, throughout the game, you will find recipe rocks. There are a total of 32 in the entire game, and the first three are inside the barnyard itself. Uh, we're just going to collect one for now, because the game is requiring us to right now. But, here's the thing. As far as the side collectibles go, like, uh, you know, recipe rocks and notes and whatnot, um, we're going to be taking care of those last. I mean, not necessarily last, but here's the thing. I want to go about this game more organized, in a more organized manner, than I did in the original... 2011 let's play so how I'm gonna do this is that uh, each chapter we're gonna complete all the missions of such chapter except for the last one because I'll automatically take it to the next chapter and then we will spend the rest of the chapter collecting all of the secondary items in each of the areas we've unlocked so that's how I'm gonna be progressing through this game because I want it to be more organized and you know make it easier for people who are just trying to you know trying to complete the game make it easier for them all right now now we got the rest of rock let's talk to pig did you find a recipe rock for me? I sure did. Sweet! Let's make an apple pie. Let me see, let me see. Okay, we'll need two apples. To get apples, find an apple tree, hold down A and swing the Wii remote down to kick the tree. There's an apple tree next to the chicken coop. You can also press minus and look on your map to find other trees. Good luck! Yeah, good luck indeed. Okay, so... Right off the bat, I should get into probably my biggest issue with the with this version so far of the game. This was released... Okay, so all the other versions of this game were first released in August 1st of, th of uh, 2006. That's around the time of the, you know, the movie being released. Okay, so hold down A and swing the remote to slam the tree. Okay. And then we can pick up the apples. Then... The problem is when you shake the... Shake the Wii remote, you're also shaking the cursor, which could shake the camera too. That's kind of a... That's kind of annoying. But yeah, it's... The thing is, this version was released November 19, 2006. You know what else was released that day? The Wii. Yeah, this is one of the 21 launch tiles for the Wii, in addition to coming out like a few months earlier on the other systems, like the, like the PC, the PS2, and the GameCube. So, as you can imagine, there's a lot of motion controls in this game, and those I'm not a big fan of, as we'll get into later. I've already gone to some of them, though, already, so... And yeah, I'm not a big fan of them so far. Did you get two apples for me? Here you go. Great! All we need now is some flour. Flour can be found in grain sacks. To stomp a grain sack, stand next to it and hold down A and swing the Wii remote down. You can find money and other things in crates and barrels, too. Alright. But as much as I'm, I might dislike the... Um, the, whatchamacallit, the motion controls. I do appreciate the visuals so far. This looks way better than the GameCube version. Not just visually, but also, like, the frame rate is also incredible. I don't know how it's gonna be for you guys, but I can definitely tell you this is gonna look a lot better than my original Let's Play. Okay, so there's one of the other recipe rocks, but we need to... We need to pick some flour for pig. <laughs> See what I did there? Okay. Enough of my stupid jokes, let's just get some flour. And take it to Pig, because we we find Pig very attractive. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. I'll try not to resort to too much of the humor that I had in my original Let's Play, because as you guys probably remember, I had a very dirty sense of humor back in the day. You know, dirty like Pig is. Okay, I still kind of do whatever. Here you go. Sweet! Let's get cooking. Press A on the barn's back door to enter the kitchen. Oh, are you saying that I belong there, Pig? No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Pit. Anyways, Pig's gonna be doing the baking for us anyways. Oh, they actually they actually have a sprite for the apple pie. Or maybe they did before. I swear it looks different. Like the, the sprite of the pie. Okay, you know what I'm talking about. Alright. So... Are you hungry? Okay, so it loads faster. That's one major positive. But I will say that the loading screens are my biggest concern whenever I play this game, at least on the GameCube version, because... Uh, uh, the game has a habit of, like, uh, freezing on loading screens in the GameCube version, but not here, hopefully. But, anyways, we got two apples and flour, so we're going to use that and cook. Hey, let's cook! 
So yeah, going back to the whole visuals thing, I love how they have like extra details. Like for instance, they they remade the uh, the sprite of the apple pie on the well. That was a very small thing, like just on the, you know how you have to collect the pie and it's, and it's on the screen there. But um, also the fact that they have mud like all over pig. That's another a added uh, detail that was not in the GameCube version. So good on them for doing that. I think I'll go get a snack. Because that's one thing I strongly disagree, disliked about uh, the Creature from the Krusty Krab Wii version, is that it was literally exactly the same as the GameCube version. Sweet. They also have more voice clips from the animals, I noticed. Like, in addition to, so in addition to the music being different, they also, well, it's not different here, obviously, but like, with, you know, like, just in the regular game, but also... There's more voice clips from animals that you hear, like whenever you walk by them. The apple pie was mighty good. Anytime you want to cook something up, come and see me in the kitchen. Here, take my cookbook and my mocktails book. As you find the lost recipes, you can add them to these books. I think I'll go get a snack. All right, you do that, pig. So yes, we now have a cookbook and a mocktails book. The thing is, 16 of the recipes are mocktails, and we'll get into mocktails much later because that's actually kind of spoiler territory if we do. And we also got Gopher Bucks. Gopher Bucks are the in-game currency. And you're going to be spending a lot of them, so be sure to pick up as many as you possibly can. Alright, so next up we have Duke. Duke the dog, right here. Hello, stranger. I'm Duke. Man's best friend. So what's your farmer like? He's a vegetarian. He never eats meat. I thought he was a vegan. The, show, the movie said he was a vegan. Oh, oh well. I'll say we got a pretty sweet deal going on here. So we make sh sure we don't ever let him see us on two legs. Every morning the farmer heads out to the fields. Every night he comes back home at sunset. He goes to bed early, so don't worry about him seeing you at night. All right, thanks, Duke. That's about enough for now. Okay, so Duke told us about the farmer basically, but the thing is. You never have to worry about the farmer ever seeing you on two on two legs at all. At any point in this entire game. There's like no point in the entire game where you have to sneak around humans or something like that. There's you really never have to do that in this entire game. So that's that much you don't have to worry about. But the thing is, in the movie, they always had to do that, like almost all the time. Okay, maybe not all the time, but like uh it was more of it is more of an issue in the movie basically than it is in the game. And we completed the first set of missions, and actually that's probably a good stopping point for this first episode. So, anyways, there's one more thing I wanted to address before anything's off here. With the start of this Let's Play, I'm having a special promotion on Patreon. The first five people to donate to each tier, so that's five people per, per tier, are going to have special additional rewards on top of the rewards already available. So, and I will be listing them in the description as well as in a in a comment below. So that way, um, that way it's very like it's easier to see because I don't have much time to talk about here. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this first episode of Let's Play Barnyard 2019. We revisit with uh, Aaron here, female Aaron, and I'll see you guys next time for some more Barnyard and more discussions about what we'll be doing differently throughout this Let's Play, and so on and so forth. Thank you, goodbye. Where is a a -Ron right now? <laughs>《